Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Swarm Lake. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. <laughs> there actually was a title screen to this game, but it goes away within two seconds. And you're left with this. It's just me and my very loud footsteps. Uh, extra shoot. Oh god! What? Um. I'm not actually pressing anything, I'm just shooting automatically. Holding the button turns it into a shotgun. Okay, what's happening? Oh god! Ah! Ah! Oh god! What? Why? No! Help! Help! This is a little too much for me. Hang on. Okay, and what have we all learned today? <clears throat> okay! Uh... <coughs> so when you shoot, it activates everything. Oh. Oh, if I shoot downwards, I can jump, kinda, sorta. Oh god, they're coming from everywhere. Alright, let's try to do okay. Should I be picking up these green things? Oh yeah, the green things are... That number up there. Ow. 45, 25, is that my position? Like, are there leaderboards? So is it just waves, or is it literally just go until you die? I seem to really cannot get over this 305 gap. Whoa, God. Help! Is there any way to avoid that? It's working? No, it's not. I don't know. There's. I don't think there's a way to avoid that. The controls are actually surprisingly tight and good. I like the idea of you have two different weapons you can use. But of course, my question is... Is this all there is? Kind of reminds me of Reboot. Am I gonna hit the edge of the purple cube soon? User wins. No! Maybe I have to hit 305? I seem to be doing a lot of killing, but not much scoring. Which is incidentally the name of the romantic comedy I'm working on, Damn it! So, good news is, again, controls are good, I like the graphics, music's kinda cool too. Bad news is, it appears... Oh dear god, this is all there is. Okay, I broke 305, do I win? Am I the champion? I got an achievement for 400 kills. And for 500. Oh, okay. That okay. So that was the new high score the whole time. I'm now in three thousand three hundred fortieth position. Is is there a way to see the high scores? Hang on. Swarm Lake high scores. There appear to not be any locations in which high scores are actually shown. Yeah, I can't find any high scores anywhere. So it's just telling me what my position is, but not what first place is. Let's go. Out. You know what this is? This is a tech demo. This feels like a tech demo. This feels like something where they wanted to make a concept of how it will look, and they'll add in the story and all the assets later. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because I am having fun with this. But it also means, compared to some of the other games I've played, this one is very limited. It's literally just a high score rush and nothing else. So it's, it's almost an art, yeah. Not almost, it's a total arcade throwback. Oh dear god. <laughs> okay, this is getting kind of awesome. Oh, did you see all those green things? Oh my god, I could have been swollen with green. Look at all that! Oh. Uh <laughs> oh. Maybe not. I don't think I'll ever get higher than that uh, 513 score. That might have been the peak of my life. I also do have to point out, for an indie game apparently developed by one person, this is extremely well optimized. I mean, the game is... The game has tons of enemies on screen. So much is going on, and I haven't had any sort of stuttering or anything. Alright, this is it. This is the one. This is not the one. This has never been the one. So, the question is, is Swarm Lake worth a dollar? I'm actually going to go ahead and say yes. There is an asterisk, which we'll get to in a moment, but it runs well, it plays fun, it's a very 
arcadey game just about going for a high score. Music's nice. Graphics are pretty cool. But, this is literally all there is. If you're looking for more content or a story or anything like that, you're gonna have to look elsewhere. There's only two guns, in fact. There's very little content, but what it does have, it does very well. So if you're willing to overlook the lack of content to buy, you know, buy a pretty cheap arcade game. I mean, heck, I'd probably pump more than 50 cents into this in an arcade. Yeah, go for Swarm Lake. And see if you can beat my high score of 513. Please, please write down the leaderboards. We can't find them anywhere. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content from shows such as Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and The Brian J Presents. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.